What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we got Season 4 news. Guys, Season 3 is about to end. Three days remaining on the Season Pass and they confirmed that right after the end of that one we're getting a brand new Season Pass and we finally have some official news or official teaser for the Season 4 Pass. So guys, make sure you watch the whole video and before we start, you guys know I have a Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway on the channel as I do every season. Now all you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel and look for that video. Leave your info in the comments guys, email or discord only please. Now if you want an extra chance you can check out the Twitter and retweet that tweet to win. Guys I'll draw six winners from the YouTube comments, one more on the live stream Saturday, the giveaway ends Saturday the 29th at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and I'll also draw one winner from the Twitter retweet. So good luck, everyone. Now let's get into the news, guys. And we're gonna start with the Season 4 Battle Pass because we don't have a lot of news, but we finally have something new, guys. This one from the Garena, guys. It's been posted on Twitter. We will have a brand new female skin on the Battle Pass. Now we already knew we're gonna have Soap McTavish on the Season Pass. I'm pretty sure you guys remember that screenshot posted last week officially announcing the start of season 4 0103 which is March 1st and they kind of officially confirmed that Salt McTavish was gonna be a reward for this season. Now of course usually the season pass soldier skins are on the bottom row so if you're free to play and you play the free battle pass you might not have a chance at the new soldier skins. Season pass pretty cheap is definitely the best value if you're gonna buy COD points. It's pretty cheap and it got cheaper last season and this season and the season before we had two soldier skins on the season pass so we're expecting soap mctavish to be in the paid season pass and we're expecting to have two characters once again on season four battle pass and the second one well it looks like we have a brand new female skin and the cool thing is it's a brand new model brand new character it's not just a reskin of what we had before so this one Translated is Urban Tracker, Beauty in the Wild, new Battle Pass character. So guys, this was posted on Facebook plus the Korean version on Twitter. So this is pretty good news, guys. Once again, we're getting good value for our cut points, two new soldier skins, and once again, another female skin. Now this is good news because there's not that many female skins, guys. And most female skins in the game were either lucky draws, super expensive, or crates like the battery skins and not a lot of players want to spend hundreds of dollars just to try to get a female skin now of course we have one free female skin and it's not the best looking skin in the game now that one was just added in season 3 and it's free totally free all you had to do is link your account COD Mobile to the official uh, Call of Duty website and there was a lot of memes about that one guys it's not the best looking skin like I said and it's not even available on Karina so yeah really good news guys we're finally getting a very very cool female skin it's not free but it's pretty much the cheapest you can have the season pass guys once again best value in the game now next up is the credit shop guys they said on the last community update they want to update the credit shop every month starting now and we have a teaser on what to expect on the next refresh. Now that screenshot was posted on Discord earlier today and we once again see a new artwork with the two characters for the next season. And we have a little preview and it's not much, just a bit of a screenshot of the credit shop refresh. So what we can see here and I'm telling you guys this is the only bit we can see. MQ-27 Dragonfire is here at the top right corner uh, like they do. Every time they add Operator Skills, Core Streak or whatever and you miss the event, well you can buy it later in the credit shop. So if you miss the Dragonfire guys, it's coming soon. Now the next one top left is a blue rare item. It's a shotgun guys. Yukio E skin is beautiful but a freaking shotgun. Uh, I know some guys say they're really good in multiplayer, it's gonna one-shot people, but I don't think it's a top 5 weapon, guys. Not so happy about that one. Bottom right is the MSMC St. Patrick's Day. MSMC is pretty cool, but it's an uncommon, so I don't know. And uh, top left looks like an AK-47 Metal Note. I love the Metal Note skin, I don't use the AK-47. So guys, if you want my opinion, if it's the only 4 items we're expecting for the next refresh, I'm not so hyped guys, I know I buy everything but just for the collection, pretty damn sure I will not use 
any of these. I'm really hoping there's more, maybe a purple item or two. We need a purple refresh, guys, for real. It seems like every time I talk about the credit shop, I always say the same. Guys, we need new weapons on the top row, for real. This has been here for months, okay? I don't even remember how long. It's been there forever. And most players, if they wanted it, they already have them. And if they didn't buy, it's probably because they want to pass. So, I don't know. Maybe you don't have to remove, but please add something else. Because, I mean, most players that have been playing since day one, they probably have everything right now. They don't know what to do with their credits. And we need some cool stuff. Not just stuff for the collection, you know? Now, last thing is the cage map being added to the game. We finally have an official spoiler in the game. And they will release a little bit more info every day tomorrow uh, and then until March 1st when it's finally going to be released. So there's not much to talk about here, but we can expect a new map, uh, the cage map on March 1st. And the only thing they said is it's a brand new map. It's not a, a reskin of a map. Well, it shouldn't be. They said it's never been in other Call of Duty games before. So that's pretty exciting. But once again, not much to say. Perfectly symmetric, I guess. Uh, it should be maybe a small map with lots of action. They say close quarter map, um, temporary construction site. So it should be exciting. I don't know if we can compare it to Kill House, but usually small maps are cool. Think about Nuketown and Kill House. Some guys don't like them, uh, Hijack also, but usually it's good for farming challenges. There's a lot of action, it's fast. So I like small maps for many reasons, guys. And I cannot wait to try the brand new age map. Three days left guys, cannot wait. So that's pretty much it for today. Not much, but we can expect maybe a little bit more tomorrow, a little bit more this weekend. The season four is coming and they will release official teasers as we get closer and closer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like, don't forget to enter the giveaway, subscribe to the channel guys, and leave me a comment below. What are you the most excited for? On the next season, I cannot wait to buy the battle pass guys and look at the other rewards. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.